Hello, I'm Jenny Parker and in this video I'll discuss one process a self-regulated learner might use to get started on task one. Firstly, I would go to the LMS and have a look at the task one section. Here on the LMS there's a range of information and resources to help you learn about the concepts that you will need to understand to complete task one. I'm going to click on the learning guide for task one which will show me all the information and resources that are here to help me on task one. So this takes me to the task one digital footprint page and this is an extract from the information in the unit guide However, it's more interactive as it has links that will take you to some information. So this is where I would start looking at the information and asking myself questions to identify what I need to research and learn to complete task one. And I'd probably start a Word document and make some notes about the things I need to do, or perhaps I might make a mind map that I could refer back to just so I could clarify in my mind what I'm doing and where I'm going. So looking at this, the first thing that says that in task one, you will create a personal educational website that you will use to present all your work in EDM 113. So the first question that comes to my mind is, well, what is a personal educational website? For the purposes of this project, it's a website that reflects you and your personality but it needs to be of a professional standard. A website that you would be happy for potential principals or future co-teachers, parents or students to view. It means you need to make sure you pay attention to how you write and what you write, your spelling, grammar and all aspects of how you portray yourself. And the next information, we can see we have a link there on the research, but the first thing that it's telling us we need to research is the safe use of the internet and in particular, privacy. So I might make a note, that the thing I need to research is, you know, what is safe use of the internet and what are the things that are appropriate for privacy on the internet. And if I click on that link there to the research, you'll see we're taken to the Toolbox for Educators website. And there's information there about researching on the web and also critically evaluating web resources and citing sources on the internet. So I'd start by having a look at this information and there's many useful links, tutorials and support. Back onto our task page, I can see here that I need to provide evidence of my research and include at least three hyperlinks. Now, if I didn't know what a hyperlink was, I could Google it to find out. So if you're not sure of any of the terminology, that's what we suggest you do. Google it, see if you can find the answers for yourself. And I just close that window and I'm back onto my task page again. So I get to continue working down the page. I need to create a website. And again, that's a link to the technology toolbox for educators. As I mouse over it, you can see the TT4ED information come up. And you need to create a website that's comprised of three pages. And here in this section, it itemizes those three pages, a home page, a contact page, and an internet safety page. And on the home page, it specifies what you need to do, what you need to put on the contact page, and what you need to put on your safety page. It's then saying to keep going, follow through this workbook, and have a look at the example website and the resources. I could also click on the link here about how do I submit my assignment, However, I don't need to do that to week three, so we'll skip past that for the moment and I'm going to click the forward arrow and go through to the next page, which is an example website that has been provided for us. We can either click on the view link here or click on the page itself. And this is just one example of how your information could be presented on the web. Obviously, there's decisions that you need to make which tool you're going to use and how you want to present it and how you want to lay it out. But you do need those three pages, the home page, the contact me page. And on the contact page, you can see that there's the photo of myself, a contact form and some information about me. When we're talking about a personal professional website, make sure that the photo you upload only includes yourself, not family members, pets or children. It should be 
or less like a passport photo, just a nice photo of yourself showing potential employers or your parents or future students what you look like. It's a connection between you and your readers. And then on the SAFE web page, you can see there's some information about digital footprint and there's also information about privacy with links to other resources. I'm just going to close this window and that will return me back to the page I was on in the LMS. And again, I'm going to move forward to look at the next page. Now the resources page, you'll see the weeks here in the left hand column, the on-campus lectures, reading information, and then all of the other resources. The technology toolbox for educators will provide you with information on not only the unit concept, but also the concepts related to task one, researching on the web, webs themselves, so you'll find some suggested technologies, etc. to use to create your website there and writing on the web, which is quite different to writing for academic essays or reports. The online activities are in section one and that link will take you back to the section one we looked at at the beginning. So these are a suggestion of what you could do each week. They're not set in stone. If you want to do all of the activities to do with task one in the first week, by all means do so. And if you want to read all of, and look at and read the information on the concepts pages, by all means do that too. And as the weeks progress, we will make the lecture recording and the lecture slides active links so that you can click here and go directly to those resources as well. Let's click on the task one section link here and just go back to where we started. And here you can see where the activities are. There are only two available at the moment, but as we progress through the task, the other links will be open up and display. I strongly suggest you download the marking guide and use it as a checklist to tick off to make sure you have completed everything for task one. And the task one submit assignment is where you will come to submit your assignment. And if you remember back on that learning guide page, we had a link here on how do I submit my assignment. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned you might want to take notes or make a mind map. If you've been taking notes along the way, this is an example of what you might have ended up with. Some of the questions we asked ourselves as we worked through the process. What areas that you needed to focus on for your research. What pages and what information you needed to add to your website. And what resources were available for you to support you in completing this activity. However, if you're more of a visual person and prefer to use a mind map, you may have ended up with something looking similar to what you can see on screen. And this was created using Bubble Us, a free online mind mapping tool. I'd also like to point out that even though we strongly encourage you to be self-directed learners, it doesn't mean that you have to learn on your own. If you have a question and you've Googled it and you haven't been able to find the answer, a good place to come and have a look is here in the search forums. For example, if I was wanting to find information about hyperlinks, I will just put in a keyword such as hyperlink here and click on go. And it will bring up any of the forum responses or questions that have information or the word hyperlink in them. And coming here, you might find that someone's already asked a question that you had. So check the forums first. Another place that you might like to check is the frequently asked questions site here at the top of the page. If the answer to the question you have is not here and it is related to task one, then I suggest you go back to the task one Q&A forum and add a new discussion topic and ask your question. It's much better to ask your questions on the LMS because there's probably lots of other students that would like to know the answer. Put them here on the forum and if your peers can't answer them, one of the tutors will. So start your journey to be a self-directed lifelong learner. Explore the information and resources here in task one. And remember, your tutors are here to support you if you get stuck.